Hey, what's good? Genetics here with another bad business video. Another Groza video, but this time instead of talking about the Groza, like I did for the last two videos, we're going to be talking about a completely unrelated topic. That topic is the release of The Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime as a, as a TV series. Season 1 is coming out on November 19. I'm extremely excited about it. So, um, leave a comment if you enjoy the type of content, since it's different for me. Let me know if you enjoy it or not. That way I can know what I want to do going forward with this channel. So The Wheel of Time, it's a 15th book fantasy series, So it's and each book is pretty massive, so it's it's uh, it spans millions and millions of words, I'm not sure of the exact count. It's the 8th best selling fantasy series of all time, with 80 million copies sold. It was first released, the first book came out in 1990, written by Robert Jordan. Sadly, he passed away in around 2008, I'm not sure of the date. And so the last uh, three books were completed by Brandon Sanderson, who is another amazing author you should check out if you enjoy sci-fi sci fantasy. The Wheel of Time follows the story of Randolph Thor, who is, um, uh, at least at the start of the book, just a farmer. Uh, and then one day, you know, living a peaceful farm life, and then suddenly everything goes to everything goes to hell and everything changes and he embarks on a journey. Kind of a, a classic trope of fantasy, but one I never tire of. Uh, the first book is very similar to Lord of the Rings, on purpose. Uh, Robert Jordan said he was inspired by Lord of the Rings and he wanted to do, uh, he wanted to tell his own story in the same style, but the, the book has quite a few differences and starting from book two onwards, it's quite different. Um, the Wheel of Time is my favorite book series of all time. Uh, the reason I love it so much, I think, is because the the world building is so detailed and massive. There are a ton of different civilizations with cultures, religions, <coughs> history, and all that. The magic system is very interesting, with the Aes Sedai being the name of the woman who can channel the one power. The one power being like the magic system in this book. Um, where they weave different weaves of uh, different elements. Uh, there's a reason men don't channel, but um, I won't spoil anything. And so this book, I, I mean, I always love fantasy and uh, science fiction, but this book is my favorite uh, book of all time. And so I'm looking forward to the TV series that's coming out on November 19, as I said. The thing is, um, I think it's going to be good. I have high hopes for it. I am kind of worried though because you know you never know what you're gonna get for every successful adaptation for instance you know Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings you get some less than good adaptations two that come to mind are Percy Jackson and Aragon which weren't great and then there are I think Chronicles of Shannara that was the one that I didn't see it but I heard tales of horror of how they botched the adaptation so it's always a scary thing to see. I wouldn't want to see my favorite fantasy series of all time be completely botched and suck. You know, that, that would be bad. Though I don't think that's what we're going to get. The, the trailer seems promising. I'll link it in the description. And the other thing that scares me, speaking of the trailer, is that the trailer focuses on different characters like uh, Egwene, Nynaeve, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Maureen. A bit more than it, the books did. It feels like they like they spread out the the focus rather than focusing more on Rand. And so that adaptation, as well as you know all the adaptations that changing a book series to a TV series requires, are uh, kind of warming me. The chapters that were not focused on Rand or the main storyline were not as interesting to me. I hope the same thing will translate to the TV medium. Uh, hopefully, the shifting focus will captivate my attention anyway hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did see you next time